I've noticed some people with red moles. Very red. I do get a lot of people come in to me for red moles, but actually they are not moles. So it's completely different. It's not pigment cells, it's blood vessels. What? Yeah. <laughs> but they look, they appear like moles though. Hey guys, I'm Mike. It's Sonia and welcome to We Need to Talk About This. It's a topic that I'm extremely passionate about and we are very glad to have a professional here with us, dermatologist Dr. Tay. Thanks for joining us here today. Thanks for having me. I think when it comes to skin, so much to address but we want to focus on different things here today like moles, for example. When should we be concerned about them? How do we identify them? So maybe you can begin by giving us a crash course. Yeah, so moles is a collection of pigment cells in the skin and they do evolve with age. So when they are when you're young, they are quite um, flat, they can be quite dark. But as we evolve, as we mature, um, the mole becomes a bit raised and it becomes lighter in colour. That doesn't mean it's turned malignant, it just means that it has matured. But there are some red flags that we need to know about. One of the earliest symptoms is usually the mole starts having um, like an itch to it or there's a scab to it. And um, that's when you need to pay a bit more attention to an itchy mole to see whether um, it has grown or whether there um, is something concerning, such as whether it's changed in colour or the borders kind of like have been spreading out a bit, it's not so uniform. Mm. And that's probably when you really need to seek medical attention. Um, and we may need to have to do a biopsy to see whether the mole has changed into a more malignant form. I wanted to pick up on what you mentioned earlier because you said moles can come in different colours as well, not just sizes and, and, and shapes perhaps, but also colours. So can we address that? Yeah, so most people with a lot of moles, they have a signature to them. So their moles can be uh, brown and flat or their moles can be a bit raised, um, lighter in the in the edges and um, browner in the middle, like a fried egg kind of appearance. Oh, that okay. could be their signature. Some people have moles that are relatively pale mm. and can appear a bit reddish due to the blood supply and a certain kind of melanin in the skin. So everyone has a, actually a mole signature. If you look at someone and there's one that is a standout mole, like it is different from the signature, that's when you need to uh, put a scope on it and, and check and see whether that, that mole is a bit wow. suspicious or not. Okay. Yeah. So on, on that note as well, I've noticed some people with red moles. Very red. They're yeah, like it, red. bright red almost. Sometimes it almost you can looks see raw. Them. Yeah. Is that uh, kind of something we should be concerned about? Or is it like age spots and stuff? I mean, it gets confusing sometimes, right? Yeah, so I do get a lot of people come in to me for red moles, but actually they are not moles. So moles are a collection of pigment cells in the skin. Oh. And those red moles are actually a proliferation of blood vessels in the skin. So it's completely different. It's not pigment cells, it's blood vessels. What? Yeah. <laughs> but they look, they appear like moles though. They look like moles. Yeah. Yeah, and you tend to develop them as you mature in age. You tend to get okay. a bit more here and there. And sometimes they can bleed and they can be... Um, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. And sometimes they come into the doctor's office for us to stop the bleeding and just remove the mole for them. You can just remove it. Is it a yeah. sign of something though? Like the red moles? It's a sign that you're very mature, she said. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in that case, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> so by and large, um, it's benign. They, we call them cherry angiomas or cherry spots. Um, but sometimes when patients come in and they have a lot of them, we do run a few screen screening questions, uh, whether they had recent health check, whether their blood counts and their liver function is fine. In certain very rare blood disorders, you can get a shower of them overnight and that's concerning to us. Mm -hmm. And that's when we, we need to run some labs to make sure internally it's not an issue. The most of the time, there's no underlying abnormality in the blood or the liver function. You get a bit more in pregnancy as well. So the hormones during pregnancy drive like the blood vessels to grow a bit more. So moles and even the red spots, the cherry and jomas, they do change um, during pregnancy. If you shave over one of them, because I've done this, and it nips off, is that, does, can that turn Ouch. cancerous or is it okay? It'll just grow right back. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, what happens <laughs> then? Like, so basically I'm doing a home surgery. <laughs> um, so most moles have a root to them. So even if you uh, nick them and bleeds a bit, it gets irritated, probably the root is still there. So you'll just go back. So, so even so if I, I, yeah. I book an appointment with Dr. Tay, I come in and you hack off one of my moles, it's coming back or there's some surgical way to do it that doesn't come back, laser. Like remove the root or something. Yeah, so if it's a concerning mole, we definitely try not to just laser it off because you want to send it to the lab and confirm whether the cells are normal or abnormal and whether we've got the whole thing out. Let's say normal. For the cherry spots, um, yeah, we could do surgery just to scoop away the top layer of the skin and then we just burn the bottom to kind of 
uh, get rid of the root, Kill the root, it may need one or two sessions. If it's fairly flat, you could go at it with a laser, a pulse dye laser, which targets blood vessels. And that usually takes about two to three sessions. Mm -hmm. And if it's a superficial mole and not a red spot, you could try and laser them off. But I try not to do it more than two to three sessions because I have seen cases where the mole um, has transformed into something else and uh, probably due to irritation to the mole. And that's when you know, we need to do skin cancer surgery for it. Thank you so much, Dr. Tay. We'll Thanks be booking an appointment really soon with you because I don't know about you, she looks really young, so I need to do whatever she's doing. I know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. If you like this content and you want more, then be sure to catch the main series Let's Talk About Health on Channel 5 and Watch.